So I'm the featured artist of this wonderful 21st Festival of Faces, and I want to thank Christy Brown, Hosley Brown, Sarah, and all the team for welcoming me here. I'm very honored to be part of it and uh, thankful for having been invited. So I will try to, to think with you and to help uh, you understand what is the life of an artist. I mean, uh, you have certainly noticed the large canvases which are in the, in the lobby there, also some small bronzes, bronzes sorry. And uh, I also created the bronze sculpture Tolerance, which is uh, displayed on the central screen there. And I'm mostly going to talk about this sculpture because it makes part of, the, of my reason to be here today. As an artist, I've created many sculptures, many other uh, subjects are in my, my focus, but clearly tolerance has something to, re to see with what we are all doing here, trying to understand how to be better with the others and how to share these uh, very important spiritualities that are ours. Um, I want to apologize for my, maybe my bad English, but you know, I'm French and I do my best, okay? <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Uh, tolerance consists of nine monumental bronze sculptures representing the nine letters of the world, tolerance, and suggesting several cults or spiritualities of the world. They are kind of nine messengers symbolically placed side by side and suggesting complicity and peace. I created this sculpture after the 9-11 terrorist attacks against the United States and the civilized world. As millions of people in those days, I was astounded and paralyzed by such a horrible tragedy. I remember these poor little blackbirds falling down in the air after they jumped out from the windows of the towers. It was horrible and I realized how so much I wanted to do something instead of saying sitting in a couch in front of the television and silent in front of this drama. But what to do? An artist has, is always alone. Today is a special day, but usually we are alone in a studio or in his life. Nobody should tell you what to do, what to create, or how to improve your commitment to others. So it took me time before I allowed myself to think that I was not only a simple artist with no political power, but on the contrary, a simple artist still but with the great power to create a symbol. And this is what I tried to do with the ambitious goal to spread a message of peace throughout the world. After almost 15 years, I still feel in charge more than ever, and this is also why I'm here today in front of you. I dedicate myself to working tirelessly my art because I truly believe that it's the best contribution I can make to the community. But after 15 days, we must frankly recognize that the situation worldwide has not really improved, as it was sadly said before. The world seems to be more and more split in these two blocks that some pessimistic predictors announced. After almost 15 years, I have spent thousands of hours working on how to spread a non-violence message a message of peace. I spent hundreds of hours in visiting schools, invited by some inspired teachers, listening and trying to answer to questions, sometimes very tricky from little boys or girls in schools, and trying to explain in them how to share a message, not condemning the other for his or her difference. I used to live in Paris, and all of you know the several the, the, the terrorist attacks we recently dramatically uh, had. But even if our freedom may be in danger, uh, this challenge could be taken as a chance to cure our humanity of vain controversies about religious predominance and opposite powers, and maybe focus on the importance of being responsible one of each other. Some say we should moving ahead past religious tolerance because it's simply not enough. But for me, and in French language, 
Tolerance carries a sense of proactivity, a sense of positive engagement. It's nothing related to simple acceptance or laxity, which would be the worst meaning. And I believe that tolerance might be the answer because it could lead us to general respect. And religious tolerance is one of the same nature, is of the same nature than social, racial, or sexual intolerances. And for me, it is all except a pretty poor substitute when it turns out to real love and understanding. The message of tolerance might look obvious here in the sense that it's quite paradoxical to express it to you. You have chosen to attend this festival and I would say that you already make part of the enlightened uh, part of the community, of the humanity. Because you believe that we have the power to bring people together, because you understand your power to spread the message of tolerance and nonviolence as the first step of the journey. But still, what you may not have realized is that art, like prayer, I would say, is a wonderful way to approach the mystery. And uh, a sculpture could be a symbol, as the Statue of Liberty, for instance, is a symbol, is a sculpture, but it's also a symbol. For those who are not aware about it, the Scripture Tolerance is an edition of eight pieces, eight series, among which three have already been permanently installed in the world, two in France and one in front of the Government Palace in Abu Dhabi, the capital city of the United Arab Emirates. My vision is to place the five remaining series in strategic cities of the world, so each one as a pearl of a necklace circling the planet and each one could witness how important it is to be tolerant one to the other. We hope that one day one could arrive here in Louisville and uh, to spread this message, but that will depend on you, on you all. <clears throat> I believe that tolerance can, calm, can help calm the evil if people across the world see it and understand its concept in their city, or even traveling, on the news, on their schools. To reach this goal, installing series of tolerance in the world, my old friend John McAlusso, here present, I don't know why it's John, he's here, <laughs> uh, is launching this week through the internet a crowdfunding campaign to support uh, and raise funds for installing this series. I also want to introduce Joel and John my dear friends and uh, galleries, uh, FC Fine Art Gallery, uh, which are also very good support in this goal. And my dearest friend Pascal, who is a famous tribal art collector, which was, we came today to support also this, uh, this goal. My commitment as an artist is to go to the studio as a special place where to be connected with the mystery, to be able to be touched by some energies as some of us could call God, God, some other, the angels, or the nature. But in fact, the way we call it is not important, in fact. What is important is to be conscious of the wonderful mystery of life, to be thankful for being alive in the miracle of the light. The human beings are very persuaded that they are superior, that they are the best of the nature. Uh, but we forgot sometimes that we do have been built with a small brain, too small brain to really understand that, to really understand all what's going on. Every part of the nature is a sacred secret. A drop of water is a sacred secret. Any animal, any man or woman is a sacred secret. We know almost nothing about ourselves. All is and remains an immense mystery driven by cataclysmic forces and universal silence. Being a believer should never generate negative forces, but 
rather the complicity between believers all together on the way to the revealed light promised by all the religions. As a conclusion, I wish to share with you all some words taken from a Sikh prayer. I pray that we realize, like always, that only, can, only love can heal our collective broken hearts. Hatred and divisions will only serve to create more hurt. Maybe we May we be healers, may we be lovers. I pray that we can pick up the pieces from each and every tragedy. From France to the rest of Europe, from North America to Africa, from South America to Asia, and from Australia to the Middle East, and come together unified by our common desire for peace. May we continue to be giving in times of tragedy. May we remain hopeful in time of despair. And may we be so courageous so as to love without hesitation in times of terror. Thank you very much. <laughs>